Hello, lovely listeners and viewers of One Radio Africa. This is the Midday Life, and this is another edition. Today, we're going to talk a lot, and uh, it's another bright morning, if I should say. Um, the grind still goes on. I mean, the work still goes on. And I'll just urge everyone to just take care of yourself and make sure they get home in one piece. But as we move forward, you know, it's a great joy for me to see the youth lately trying to do a lot of stuff with yourself, especially giving back to the community in the form of... Um, setting up an NGO. In this case today, I have with me a very fine lady and a gentleman who today we are going to discuss and talk much about NGO, entrepreneurship and you know any other thing that comes um, within that sector. So without that, let me just introduce to you my very fine lady. Hello madam, good morning. Good morning. And mister, good morning to you as well. Good morning. I know it's a very blessed day, it's a very nice day to have you to um, to help us you know, talk more to the youth about NGO and, and everything. But, you know, let's just move straight. Please, I would like to have a brief introduction. Okay. Thank you very much. My name is Abigail Efiapia, um, the team lead for Aid Education Foundation. Aid Education Foundation. Yeah. And I'm a final year student of the Ghana Institute of Journalism. Oh, great. Reading communication studies with journalism as my specialty. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm that's great. 23 years of age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then quite, quite young. I mean, we're happy to see um, our youth lately in all these activities. And what about you, Mister? All right. I'm Clement Odatelante. Yeah, I'm the financial controller of... Finance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently schooling at um, University of Ghana, Legon. Okay. Yeah, reading economics and religion. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. It's quite good to have you as a finance. Then I think <laughs> all, the, all the money details are with you. I mean, you after you that. just have to see me after, then we talk. Mm. You don't have a problem. So, anyway, um, Miss Abigail, um, so we should start with why aid education? Okay. Aid education, um, the idea of fund, founding um, this organization was inspired by. Um, I went to a school to deliver a model that okay. is in a form of mentoring young students. Okay. And I, I came across one student who had a torn uniform and I asked for why the torn uniform. And he, sorry, she told me that there is financial um, constraints in, 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 in the house. Oh, so okay. like the family can't afford it. I was a bit saddened. I felt pity for the lady. So I had a little conversation and he told, she told me the challenges in the house. So I encouraged her to not give up and also to stay in school. And that no matter what, she should fight to get to the top. So after delivering the model, mm-hmm. on my way back to the house, I met other young children who were playing uh, around so i asked them why they aren't in school and they said that they have problem with um, some basic needs their parents are not able to afford that basic needs like books and their extra Stationary classes materials. stationaries yeah so i, I in, in in a short conversation with them i got to um i got that idea i was like so i have to uh, children yeah. who so. don't stay in school because of basic materials okay. and also we have students who don't stay in school because their parents can't afford their uniforms or they, they, they look shabby <coughs> in school. So I, I have this plan on setting up an NGO which is Aid Education Foundation, to basically support these vulnerable students in oh. school by supporting them with the um, educational materials, like the boost stationery, uh, sorry, the boost pencils, erasers, and then those who have um, <laughs> who have challenge with their uniforms as well, we try okay. to provide it for them. Okay. So, okay. what inspired me f- uh, me setting up this NGO? Yes. It's all about these children. So more like it's um, seeing just one lady. You know, finding out that there's a problem, not because it wasn't just the single lady, but it's a problem because a number of students are all going through the same process. Yes. So it yes. was like that just motivated you to start up an NGO. Yes, because I, I, I really felt um, sad 
to see mm -hmm. children who are our future leaders for this country okay. not being able to have access to quality education yes, and to stay yes, in school yes. because of these petty you know materials or these petty cha uh, challenges yeah it's it's nice seeing seeing the youth um, engaging into this activity. I think this has been a problem that has been on for some time. But how long have you been doing this since the last time you know, you, or since the first time you went to see this and it all came? Since then, how long has it been? Okay, so um, the organization was set up in twenty eighteen. Okay. Yes. So um, twenty eighteen to date, we are four years now. I think we we'll, our fifth anniversary. Four years. Yes, please been running yes please wow so um our fifth anniversary will be next year yeah okay so four years now we've we've tried our possible best to support with the little so, that we can to good. put these vulnerable students back to school and have access to quality education and as well feel inclusive in the community okay so mr clement i mean uh straight from what mr b is saying um four years down the line yeah. Next year is five years. Yeah. Okay. So, what are you, some of your projects? How many projects have you embarked on? I mean, like reaching out with your help to the vulnerable children. Okay. So, um, we've done about eight to ten projects. Eight to ten projects. Yes. Yeah, sure. In four years. In four years. Yeah. Because wow. Usually, every year we plan on having four projects in a year. Oh, really? But yeah, sometimes unforeseen events okay. happen and. As we all know, mm -hmm. last year we were shocked with COVID. So yes, yes, yes last yes. year I we think couldn't have two any. years no, yeah. with COVID issue. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. for let's say the four years, we've had about ten projects. So is, is the project all within Accra? Are they Accra based projects? No, no, not no, Accra based no, projects. No, no. What uh, um, maybe my my boss will talk about it, but to say a little, mm -hmm. we we want to target the rural areas okay. at most because we feel with them. They are more in need of this stationery and other stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we want to target those areas. So most of our projects are in the Ashanti region, Eastern region, Central region. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, going out of Accra and um, this COVID era and all that, like how are your finances? Like how do you um, source for funding? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, four years now it hasn't been easy but it hasn't been easy. yeah well let's say we give thanks to god yes because and, I'm, I'm really wondering I mean. yeah and our members also are pulling up <coughs> um, with small small helps so how we usually find and um, find this um ngo is basically from family and friends family and friends yeah. okay. so anytime we have a project what we do is that we have an estimated budget yeah, so okay. If it's let's say thousand mm -hmm. and we have like ten members, we divide a thousand for everyone. That's okay. our target for the projects. Okay. So meaning every member has to raise an amount of hundred cities. Okay. Yes. For That's like project. a rough estimate. Yes, of that. a rough estimate. Okay. Yeah. But so, let's say do it sometimes go beyond just thousand? Yeah, because um our recent projects we had last month, mm -hmm. our our cost was around three thousand, four thousand. Wow. Yeah. And you raise that within just family and friends. Yeah, yeah within no family. special donors in addition. No, no. As at now, we've not reached out to wow. external factor. Yeah, then it's I'm, just in internal. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to hear this. Like, I, I mean, you trying to do this just by family and friends for yeah. the past four years. Sure. Um, over a, a number of projects out of Accra. Oh, you guys might really doing good. Okay, so let me come back to Miss So just give me a rough, like some of the um, towns, you know, you visited out of Accra. Okay, so um, we visited the central region. We okay. visited the eastern region mm -hmm. and that of the Ashanti region. That okay. was um, recently, that was last year. So with the central region, we've been to Gomua Boso around Agna Suedro. Suedro, okay. Yes, that is where... That is the birth of this organization. That is where everything Swedru. started. Oh, yes. okay. So let me be like, you went to do the mentorship in Swedru, the yes. school there, and you found out that this was the problem. Yes, please. And then when I moved out of Swedru, I realized that it's a general problem which other communities are also facing. Yes, especially wow. in the rural areas, <laughs> as rural my areas. colleague said. Yeah. So we, we actually want... Or we aim at helping these um, students, especially in the rural areas. We see that um, in the cities or in the urban centers, some of these students get access to 
um, other NGOs who okay. support them. But with the rural areas, hardly do we see things like that going on. So our first project um, was organized at um, Aguna Swedro, Abosu AME Zion School, School. Okay. Yeah, where we supported five students. Okay. So currently, three are in the senior high school now. Wow. And we still have two more to go in that particular school. But as time moves on, we are planning on getting other, other students from other schools to support them, kind of a scholarship. So in the government schools, I don't know if it applies to all the government schools, but mm -hmm. with the government school, we were supporting these five children. We had to pay for their extra classes fees. Okay. Yes. And then we provide for them to their basic materials as i stated Sex. earlier so not only the stationery no please okay you could just be honest even paying off let's say like a fees or something for them to even continue yes wow. we, we we actually take care of the extra classes oh okay yes okay. and then um they are printing fees and some of the schools when they are going to write exams they will have to pay for printing fees so we take care of that but that one is solely for those that we are supporting kind of a scholarship down it yes please okay yes so for that one we select a particular number of students then. within our means and then we do that okay but so you work with stakeholders they are like stakeholders um, of the ngo or it's just about the team like it's just, it's, yeah. it's just about the team it's for now. Team yes, for now. Okay. we aim at getting in touch of partnering and collaborating with other people, other NGOs, who is mm. who fall within our vision or who would like to um, help us make yeah. this vision a, a reality. Like help impact and then give back to the community. Okay, so um, you know, four years down the line, and um, you've been doing this. So let me be like, so far, how do you say things moving? At least, are you getting um, the result you're looking for? Or is there still a long way to go? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, um, with the results, we are seeing some. You are seeing some? Yes. I won't say we are seeing all. Because we, we've, we, we've started on, you know, we, we've just started this journey. And mm -hmm. um, we can't say we, we are seeing it all. But then, per the impact we are making, we try to do follow-ups. Okay. On the students, how they are faring, and how the materials we give to them are being put to use, we actually entrust the students in the teachers, in the in the hands of the teachers, so that they can guide them and then make good use of the materials that we we give to them. Solidly. Yes. Solidly. So I think um, let me just wrap up first, Mr. Clement, a little sure. bit about your finance. You know, yeah, because it's very very necessary to know. I mean. Just within the family and friends, is it that you um, you give them the price or you have a means of um, they soliciting for the fund? Oh, okay. So um, after giving each member a target, okay. we, we just don't leave them like that. So okay. just go and raise. Okay. So what we do is that we have we create flyers mm -hmm. for each project okay. that we we undertake. So we create a flyer, we give it to you. Now social media. It's everywhere, so you can post it on your social media pages. Mm -hmm. You get people who are interested. Some will be willing to come. Some, you also have to convince them on why they need to uh, 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 um, donate to such um, an event. Because it's like now everyone is into sad things. And okay, yeah, people yeah, use yeah. that to, in a way, fraud people of their... Money. Yeah, I think yeah. so. With with that, uh, yes, I think personally myself, I've had an issue like oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was with one um, NGO like that, and I was mm. trying to you know help solicit for a little fund, and they mm. were like, "Oh, nah, these guys lately, you know, they'll just take the money and it's for them and all that." But I think if people continue to do this kind of activities, mm. you know, it's going to really uh, not help not yeah. help at all it's because true. it's going to let the real people out there are going to suffer just to make the little they can to help yeah. so at least let me yeah so uh, um without cutting you um, oh, sure, that's sure. one that, that's one way we also have um envelopes that we print for our members okay and then we we create tally cards to in addition to yes it. in addition oh, okay. to the envelope so any of them you want we can give it to you yeah so with with the amount any amount a donor wants to give out is acceptable so straight from 10 pesos to 
the highest the amount highest. you can you can give. Yeah. So this card will definitely have your information for any follow backs or anything else. Yes, that. So yes, I think yes. that, that puts at a very And good. then um one thing too we do is that anyone who donates okay. we have we have a, a platform that if they are willing to join, we add them to it. Oh, okay. Where we update them on what their monies are being used for. for. Oh, yes. that's nice. And then after every project, anyone who donates to, we have a time, we call them to thank them on behalf of the agency, okay. of the um, organization. Yeah, so that's one thing we do to set ourselves apart from the rest. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, Miss Abby, um, you know, on this, this segment, or let's say this program itself, I will make to talk much about the youth and help the youth who wants to. You know, if we're looking at some have some a question, okay, on how they can start up, um, they can start up an NGO. I think you do have any idea how you can just, you know, give them a brief one. Okay, so, um, thank you. Setting up an NGO is not just about setting up an NGO. Uh, everybody is setting it up, almost setting it up. Yeah. You know, um, it's it's about the passion, and it also involves what you want to, like, come on board. Okay. Some have the mindset of giving back to the community through setting up an NGO. Yeah. Some to have their own means of setting up an NGO, okay. and, um, governing an NGO or taking care of an NGO isn't um, something that is very smooth. Huh. So before you set up an NGO, you have to sit down, sit yourself down, access yourself, ask yourself, what is inspiring me to, to um, start this organization? You get it? Uh -huh. So it, it, it's all about the mindset. It's all about the passion. Because if I don't have passion for children, I wouldn't go in for this... Yes. Um, this I, I wouldn't go in for this uh, particular vision okay. or if i didn't make some inquiries about what is the um, problem when it comes to education or something i wouldn't have you know realized it myself and then start this ngo start it yeah. okay yeah. so i um, um over four years you started okay what are some of your basic challenges you've been facing Okay. Um, I know currently finance uh, financing might be a little bit of a challenge. Yes. Yes, uh, for that. That is um, uh, looking for sponsors and donors as well. Mm. Yes. Okay. So aside that, what other challenges has it been? Because moving out of Accra um, on a regular basis like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know why. Aside that much. is the cooperation of members. You know, um, um, you have members on board who will actually help you make this vision or who will buy into this vision and make it a reality. Okay. So um, if at times getting the cooperation of them is, is very difficult. Yeah. Yes. And at times I don't blame them though. And since it's a sacrificial job too, you can't you no, know, force them. Uh -huh. You can't always be on them and okay. all. So aside the cooperation, my team is, is is there is there to help yeah that's to help. Oh, well, mr clement can you also give us uh, some of your challenges so for what you you have seen i'm so, being in an okay. NGO. so um basically with with my with my challenge i've seen so far is is the financing is the financing yeah, the finance the financing that, that is very, it's, very it's it's a big challenge yeah yeah i think it's about 95 percent of our challenge okay yeah the financing okay. So what are you, you know, do you have any plan in place you are trying to use to keep that? Yeah, um, as as my boss said earlier, we are planning on partnering with um, other NGOs and then getting other stakeholders on board. Yeah, and then we are planning on seeking for sponsorship during our next projects and other stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, that's just uh, partnering with other NGOs. Uh, not to cut in, uh, Ms. Avi, but you have some NGOs that you look up to. I mean, you, you have your own motivation from your own from your own organization. Um, yes, I I do have people or NGOs that we look up to. Okay. So we okay. have a lot of NGOs out there okay. making impact, and mm. that's that serves as a, a motivation for us okay. that at least we are we are also doing something. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's it's good. not um. Everybody 
that will buy into what we are doing or that is interested in this kind of you know okay, thing. Can I let you convince me, Krasa? <laughs> yeah, you have to do it somewhere like that. Somewhere yes, like that. yes, yes. Okay. Um, but then aside that, to we we look up to um, Youth Bridge Foundation. Youth Bridge Foundation is um, one of the organizations that um, is in to empower the youth. Yeah. So when it comes to the mentorship, we we we've, we've been having mentorship as well. So, okay. Yes. So okay. we try to empower these young. We don't just go there and just go and donate and then mm -hmm. we are coming back. No, we try to talk to them, advise them, yeah. on how to, you know, take their education serious and. I, no, honestly, I'm I'm so very happy. I'm happy. Foundation. I'm happy. I'm happy very much. Um, <laughs> see, seeing the youth like trying to give back, um, setting up NGOs. You know, this this um so you know, this corporate side of things are very difficult for you to see youths mm -hmm. actively participating in it. So seeing the few that are very much devoting and doing everything makes me happy. But Mr. Kareem, sure, sure. let, let me ask this: You're in school, right? Yeah. So how I mean, are you combining the two? I mean, how is it? Is it time taking like full time stuff? Oh no! Mm. Yes, in, okay. Let me say in a way, it's it's time consuming. But yeah. you see, um, one thing about uh, um our uh, um, NGO is that before you come, we 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 ask you one question. Okay. What is your willingness, or are you dedicated, or do you have the passion for for this? Because okay. we are not getting paid. Yeah. Yes, and it's in the long run we run at a loss, or we invest more into yeah, it. Yeah, it's an NGO, so uh, yes. you don't know how to invest. Yes. So, here. so one is is the passion and the dedication. The passion. Yes. So dedication. if you have that, and if if you have that, you can do anything. And you see, um, with with the tertiary, it's not, it's not more or less like our secondary school and our primary school. We have we have timetable that is flexible enough. Enough. Okay. Yes. So. Okay. With that, you just have to watch your timetable and then your projects and meeting time, and then you just have to fix it in, and you are good to go. Okay. So that's how I manage to okay. balance the two: education and then the NGO. So aside, you're a general entrepreneur, right? Yeah, sure. What what sure. extra thing do you do in addition to? Oh, okay, so um, we have okay, I or oh, I I work with people, so let me say we. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we have uh, um, a modeling agency we run. Oh, okay. And then an event house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, that that's cool. I mean, uh, you are still a youth, though. Miss Abi, what about you? I mean, how do you also um, okay, manage so yourself? Okay. So that um, the organization, yeah. I would like to um, talk about comfort as well. So oh, okay. We look comfort. Up to yeah, we look wow. up to Comfort. Comfort, comfort? Too is interested in um, supporting young girls um, in school. Okay. Uh -huh, to, okay. Wow. to reduce the financial burden on the parents and also to empower them. When it comes to businesses too, they are there to support them grow and scale their businesses. All right. Great. Now moving on to um, what you just asked. Yes, your time. Your time, like I'm um, being in school, doing the NGO, and uh, how, do, how do you manage it? Because, okay. I mean, some of our listeners currently, and from some of the questions popping up, I realize that most of them want to, allow, we have some who wants to also venture or start up an NGO, okay? So, I know education, I could say, or it's, it's only education. Yes, it's anything only education, education. Anything education. Yeah. So, we've been in school and also... But, but right now, we are particular about the um, materials. That is it, stationary items? Yes, because okay. that is, per our vision, that is what... Um, we we saw the problem lies mm. yes so maybe as time goes on as i said we do mentorship as well so we do create flyers that you know speaks about education to the public as well all right aside our main job which aside is the job. um the sponsorship and then the donations and yeah, okay. mentorship okay Okay, I mean that's great. So, so balancing the mm -hmm. balancing the yeah balancing the work and then um, school because yeah. I think since uh, you're more of the uh, final I guess right now you might be running hot. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so um, as my colleague said, mm -hmm. um, we we um, in the tertiary institutions have a flexible you know timetable. Okay. Yes. So um, my school like this, you have to choose your own. Um, preferred time that you would like to have your classes. Okay. So because of these things that I do, I mostly make sure I 
select my courses um, that will favor me yes so balancing it isn't that easy yes but we are we are still going to so i have to i have to look after look at my personal activities i have a lot doing mm -hmm. church school, church every time but it's worth it, right? Yes. It's worth it. Yes. yes. Definitely. So with our listening, um, we will just be going for a quick commercial break. Once you're back, you know, we'll still talk more and okay. we'll still like to know more. Okay. Um, listeners, there's still one Radio Africa and the midday morning radio show. And today's segment, as I said, you know, we're going to have a lot of discussion about NGO and starting up an NGO. This stay tuned. We'll be right back. BusyVendor.com is a retail and wholesale e-commerce platform. Created to give vendors and store owners the opportunity to sell items, services, virtual and downloadable products online by signing up as a vendor, creating a personalized store page, and adding products. BusyVendor.com has in place the most flexible payment methods acceptable worldwide, even mobile money. BusyVendor.com also serves as a directory for stores, vendors, and individuals who sell from home. To the buyer or customer, BusyVendor.com is simply an online shopping mall where you can get whatever item you will need. It is more than a marketplace. Um, welcome back from this short and quick commercial break. Um, this is still One Radio Africa, and we're still talking about NGO. We're still talking about setting up. We're still talking about challenges. Everything you need to know about NGO. And as I was saying, I'm really happy to see um, a number of youth, a number of young people who are also giving back to the community. Moving forward, I still have with me another lady, a fine one, actually. And uh, she's also a, a member, I think, yes, of Aid yes. Education Foundation. Yeah. Please, welcome. Thank you very much. So, can we know you? Yeah, okay. I'm Doreen Afaribi Alabi, a team member of Aid Education Foundation. Okay. Second year student of the Accra Technical University, studying science laboratory technology. Yeah, oh wow, that's moment. nice. So I could still say, say, aid education is still an uh, educational hub or educational sure. active uh, sure. place that you can join in. Yes. So please. how long have you been with aid education? Maybe? Oh, I joined this year. You joined this year? Yes, please. Well, now has the impact, the influence. Um, oh yeah, sure. It's been good so mm -hmm. far since I joined. We've had three projects. Three projects. Yes. Wow, since and you joined from March. Yes, please. Hey, you've been moving on. Yes. I think your next project, you have to I mean, um, go with me so at least I see how oh, sure, or sure. have the experience as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how has the impact? Like, let's talk a little bit about um, the impact since you joined the project you've been on. How has it been for you? Okay. It's been good. I've Me, personally, I've learned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Giving back to the community. Yeah. And a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, and a whole lot of stuff. All right, that's yeah. great. So let me go back to Miss Abby. Miss Abby, uh, a very quick one. So how many students have you impacted since uh, we started the foundation? Okay, so um, since we started the organization, we've impacted about 900 students through donations. 900 students? Yes, please. 900? About. Wow. <laughs> wow, that, that's quite a number. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a number. 900 yeah. students. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, sure. just from without any active or big sponsorship, no, big please. donors, just no. the family and friends, and yes. you've impacted over 900. Yes, please. Oh, I think we need to do something about this <laughs> one. Right? Yeah, at least. Okay, so we've impacted um, about 900 students through um, the donation, we, we, the donation um, projects, and mm -hmm. then the mentorship projects as well. Okay. Um, and I think we've, we've also supported three schools. Uh, two sorry, schools. two schools. Two schools. Yeah. Okay, which what actually? What items basically? Okay, so as I said, educational materials. So, mm -hmm. um, we donated um, a box of chalk and then okay. dusters. We also donated. Um, that went directly to the schools. Yes. Do you to have? Do you still remember this? I know you visited a lot of schools. <laughs> do you still remember the school? Yes, I think a Kumfi Abo okay. Methodist. Which is in the central region. The Confia yes. Methodist. Yes, I mean, Methodist. If, if their headmasters and staff could be watching, <laughs> I'm sure that they'll be really proud and happy to see yes, us here today. Yes, and that of um, one in the eastern region, Akrofufu, Presby. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
so we we give them so um, basically the like chats. The, the government schools uh, yes yes the yes, okay. yes yes okay. Okay. so the chats for learning Mm-hmm. We have A for Apple and those stuff. Those stuff okay. <laughs> yeah, those chats, okay. and then um, a set of um, 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 what do you call it? There are lots. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I can say I can say that guys have done a lot. Yes, you guys have so done a lot. The, um, uh, because of the COVID, okay. we donated buckets, buckets that they can um, you know Burn fetch water into it and items. wash their hands. Okay. Yes, and right, then also right, we. Right. We gave them. Um, we also helping to fight uh, uh, coronavirus. Yes. Say, yeah. Recently, we donated um, sanitizers, mm-hmm. nose mask, and tissues. and tissues to the students. We we uh, the beneficiaries for this year's project. Okay. So let me go back to Miss Dora. Um, I think you joined from March, right? That's this year. Yes. So please. if somebody else wants to join, like me, like right now, I want to join. So I mean, what would you say? Like, what what do I have to go through? What do I have to get? Okay, so if you want to join, yeah. okay, it's either you want to be a member, okay, a volunteer or okay. a donor. So three selected categories. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. So you don't want to be this. In, three. Uh, so in any, in I any. can just um, get on it and then. Yes, please. Well, okay. So uh, Miss Abby, like, um, what is the criteria if somebody wants to join? Okay, so. I can just um, willingly just come and I'll be accepted. No, no, okay. no, no, no. So um, if you want to join the organization, you will have to pick um, a membership form. Okay. Which is thirty-five cedis. All right. Yeah, for now, thirty-five okay. cedis. So it includes your t-shirts. Oh, in addition. Yeah. Okay. And if you would want to be a full member of the organization, there are other responsibilities you have to, you know, um, fulfill. Okay. So you have to be paying a monthly dues. And then whenever we have a project or we have projects, we set targets, which you will have to also pay for that target. Yeah. And you involving yourself in the activities of the organization okay but if you would like to be a volunteer or a donor okay. donors help us like they support us with um the materials or in kind or cash in kind of okay. yes. anything that goes yes. like and that and for volunteers okay. maybe we are having projects and you would like to join us for that particular project you are warmly welcome okay. so do you do any other thing aside um, the ngo Kanu entrepreneur, educational <laughs> activist, uh, philanthropist. Uh, yes. Everything goes. Yes. So aside the um, NGO, mm-hmm. I run my own business. Okay. Um, one is into catering services. Oh, food. <laughs> <laughs> food, food, food. Food is a good thing. <laughs> okay, and then the and, next one. And the other one too is into um collections like selling of fabrics and sewing services as well. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, um, just, just a quick one before we, you know, we try to wrap up and everything. I just want to know from Miss Doreen, like, let me know the, the fun aspect of, you know, the, do you like the travels and all that, you know? Oh, yeah. Because I can see that you really like fun stuff, right? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> so, yeah. how's that experience, like? Oh, it was such a great mm. experience for me, like this. Going, let's say, far distance, it's not my intent, so... Not since I joined, I've been it's enjoying been. it. That's nice. That's <laughs> yes. nice. So, Miss Ab, if anybody wants to reach out to you, whether I do now, whether um, they want to at least, the later they can, so how do they get to you? Okay, so um, you, they, um, people can reach us on our social media platforms. Okay. We are on Instagram, we are on Facebook. With the yeah. name? With the name Age Education Foundation. Just Age Education yes. Foundation. I can reach out to you. Yes. And what about Twitter. if maybe uh, they want to contact direct? Okay. So if you would like to contact us directly, I can I say? Yeah, that? sure. You can. Okay. So you can contact me on zero five four two two zero five four two two eight one one eight one one eight nine eight nine. Yes. Can we go over again? Zero five four two two. Eight one one eight nine. Eight one one eight nine. Or you can check us up on the other social media platforms and just give us a message and, and you just yeah we, yeah we are just, just there to you. attend to. You. All right. So please, anybody listening, our viewers, our listeners, um, we just want you to help out. Actually, um, help more, donate more, help these our young ones to be able to impact lives. So for over four years, impacting nine hundred, um, being on. 
other um, places done a whole lot of things and then also but yeah before we go um i learned you have been nominated for an award <laughs> yes please that's a dedication the foundation the organization itself yes please. oh wow which which award is that okay so um this year god being so good we've been nominated um um for humanitarian awards humanitarian awards yeah humanitarian oh, wow. awards i mean that's a, that's that a big that's a big platform okay 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 <laughs> yes so we were nominated age education foundation was nominated for um the category of child education child education yes wow. and then me personally i was also nominated for um best outstanding philanthropist of the year that's nice that's nice congratulations thank on you that. very much um, we did be i'm um, giving all the best um about the voting platform i mean maybe just give a little Yes. Okay. So currently, the voting has ended. It has ended. Yes, oh, okay. So we are okay. Waiting for the main event. Oh which, wow. Then we we will be wishing you the best. We are hoping you. I mean, you win. You bring it home, and then you bring it to one radio sure, Africa. Sure, sure, sure. We are just going to. But before finally we wrap up everything, um, we all know that the WASA students, um, currently they have started. I mean, they did their practicals and other stuff just um last week throughout. I me mean, as an activist for education, I, I mean, just a little word of encouragement and. Um, something to them out there for the other more to know that you know we still love and care about them. I mean, we know the <laughs> COVID has been some way for them, but uh, let's look at what they can do. Okay, so um, the little I would like to tell our uh, WASI students, our uh, WASI candidates, is that um, they've really fought a good fight, okay. they've come this far, and um, this is this is the time they have to prove themselves, you know, they should learn really hard prepare very hard and at the end of it all they will they will come out with flying colors and then they'll be able to be a step further or a step ahead of um, reaching their goals so i'm wishing them all the best in their exams and great and to tell them we are proud of them yeah, for coming so this far. We are proud. Everybody is proud. So I thank you very much, Miss Abigail and Miss Doreen. I mean, it's it's a blessed day. It's, um, we thank you very much for having you here today to help us talk to the youth. And then we are hoping that they are going to take a lot from it. And we are also going to work their way out. So thank right. you very much. Thank Lovely you listeners much. and viewers. This one, Radio Africa. Catch us same time, same day. And uh, have a blessed and lovely day. Bye. Bye. Dance like there's no tomorrow. Yeah.